to like the jabbing back and forth, whatever the case may be that he had with me or whatever. This is the guy that you sparred. This is the guy that I sparred. And the beef between both gyms that we had, like, this was the first time that Coach Oh, wow. So he probably was definitely popping off. Yeah. Yeah. So it was one of them things where, like, oh, like, he left us. They they left us to go do their own thing. We going to show them, like, they fucked up. We like, man, fuck, nah, like, we did this, we did this for a reason, you know what the fuck we doing, so it was like, we battling, like, like, crystal blood type shit. Boxing beef, yeah, 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 boxing beef, so at the end of the day, like, it was hyped up, like, people, we had people supporting us, they had people supporting them, now the match, <laughs> match going on, everything's going cool, you know, we going you back and forth. Please tell me, you say he's going down number four. Anyways, so yeah, <laughs> no, only, again, I'm going to bring that quick after we get done. There's a, mm-hmm. But, um, I, I was doing, I was doing okay, but, man, this is where I got my first nickname from. They called me Mississippi Slim. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Mississippi Slim came because the way I was throwing my shots, they came from, like, my knee, and I was basically, like, clobbering. You know what I'm it came all the way down to Mississippi, by all the way back up to New York or whatever, back to South Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah, I got a slim and stuff like that, so that's how it all tied in together. Mm-hmm. But I was just slugging and stuff like that. And um, in the midst of the match, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the midst of the match, though, um, I did get knocked down. Okay. I got knocked down. He he knocked me down. Uh, I got up from the eight count for the ten count was, and uh, I came as coach said. It seemed like I rose up from the dead, and I was full full charge. Like my pride got the best of me. Like ain't no way somebody was gonna knock me down and embarrass me. And at this mm-hmm. point, like the whole event is like you get. I took a slight glance at the crowd and. It was hyped. Okay. Like, it was so loud. I that bed into you a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't hear nobody. It was so loud. My coach was like, coach was like, man, like, shit, you know, go hard. You, you was one of the crowd people, too, after a while. He's like, go, go. Like, it, it was that hyped of a man. I, I lost unanimous. Okay. Clearly, because, you know, yeah, he was a more polished guy. And that's I what caught, I'm about to touch yeah, on. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. he caught me a, a good time. I caught him a few times, but I didn't know boxing at the time. Like point system or anything like point, that? Okay. Point system, the okay. way boxing was conducted or how I held myself. And I was a little sad because I feel like I let a lot of people down. They came and watched the But it's boxing. And as time went on, I learned like that goes in the case point. Amateur boxing and pro boxing are two different things. And it's going to sound that as an amateur, they're transitioning as better. So allow me to give you this real quick. Um, believe it or not, this story that you just told this audience, allow me to tell you a quick story and why I'm relating it to what you just told. There was this old head. He was the way he looks now. You wouldn't think he was a martial artist because you know you know when they get old and old pot belly, but you know yeah. they still you know you go out and they got that palm. He just but anyway. So anyway, I was conducting some business with him, buying some tubes and all that. I guess he took a liking to my beads, whatever, cool. Um, we talked about martial arts because, you know, we, we even talked about it on our channel. So one of the things he said about here in Fayetteville is that regardless if it's boxing, juke, whatever, the the instructors set people up to fight their star fighters, like basically human punching bag. Mm. So here's why, the reason why I'm bringing it, I guess you say correlating to your story, Dude had X amount of years over you, right? Polished fighter. So in my in to that sparring match, right? That whole I got him is kind of like okay. So where was really the win in that? If 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 inexperience, I'm very very it's not 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 me, but just I'm very very seasoned. The fuck I look like practicing my skills on you because the seasoned fighter that I want to go against that I probably can't beat. He's not gonna have the same reaction as me. My bad, I'm getting in my little mouth and I hate bullies. That that that, that that's more like a bully story to me. Yeah. But that what that old head has said was that's what kills the fighter's spirit. Mm-hmm. Like again, you're not I don't know if that's a Fayetteville, North Carolina thing or a down south thing. I don't know. But apparently that that 
and again, it's not just in the boxing gyms. It's 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 all around. You're right. I, the reason why I told you that I'm really glad that you continue to do your training even though you lost because again, my temperament is different. I think I would have hung up boxing. After that. <laughs> no, only reason because again, it, it it's kind of like okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said it. Why not put me in the ring with somebody like like on Fort Bragg? There, there's another old head I talked to, and I asked him this was years ago, but he was like, "No, where, where, why would I? E- even as about like hosting an event, why would I put you in the? So he's had bouts before you. Like that was your very first bout. So let's say Probably he had like two before. Me. But okay, but he even said he said how he conducts his matches because he was a I don't know I don't know coach or whatever can anyway. When he hosted his matches, he even said, "We don't. The max will go up. Allow a fighter to do is is one up from somebody. Right. But nine times, and I, maybe it's kind of harder now due to COVID or whatever. I got you. Mm-hmm. But he said we're not gonna. If you have at least three to four fights against somebody, we're not gonna put you in the ring with that person because it's it's expected for you to win. And honestly, it's also bad for your record to lose against somebody who <laughs> you know. But anyway, teach his own that that." Hopefully, whoever heard this part of the segment of the story, you get motivated. Don't quit. I can only speak for me. I know if I went through that, I'd probably at least find a different martial art because that's <laughs> that, that that that's. Am I wrong in assessing like that's kind of like bully type shit? No, I mean, I feel like that that all goes to whoever's spirit is in it. Okay. It's damn what you put out into it. Yeah, I could have stopped and been discouraged by it, but my. Pride and kind of got the best of me in this bag. Since it's like, he got me, so I'm happy. Did you? Uh, well, then, my, you said, uh, I was hoping you say, hell yeah, I did, but not let me nah, talk. I mean, but believe me, it was a slight little story. It was a moment where I had a boxing match that I should have won. Mm-hmm. And the dude that I boxed, you know, we, we, we've uh, sparred each other previously at, okay. at, the, at his gym. So it was, it, it, it was my bad. <laughs> A level of familiarity. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it was no bad blood or beef between me and the dude. He even, he even gave me my prize. So I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel like you wanted that, but I appreciate you. Like, let me have my moment and not be disrespectful. You know, I don't know. At the end of the day, the rest saw what they saw. They gave it to you, man. It is what it is. It's all love at the end of the day. It's a, it's, it's a gentleman's story. Said dude who I lost to came out just happening in the midst of the match and afterward. And I was like, I know where you box out of. I'm going to come to that gym and we're going to spar. And it's going to be a different story. Okay. My coach and his coach called, called Wayne. They were there because like, it, it almost turned into a whole brawl, basically. Mm-hmm. But um, we ended up going to that gym not shortly after or days after, like a month or so later, just because. Please say that shit, man. Please say that nah, shit. Damn it. Geez. God damn it. Anyway, my coach. You know that coach with the same guy. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Coach, yeah. Coach Antonio was like, nah, man, we're going to get it where it counts in the actual ring. I was okay. like, okay. Cool. So they, they knew they knew me. They know my uh character mm-hmm. and how cool and like how respectful I am as as a person and having respect for boxing. They say the natives, brother. Who the the, 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 the I'm going to say, we'll just say the ops. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the ops. yeah, yeah. The dude yeah. who, who he, he's from the feds. Allegedly, I mean, that, 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 that sounds about right. And how we are, but, but, anyway, yeah. but um, I I felt like I proved the point that day because I ended up getting in the room with a said pro or whatever, and I I basically made him quit. I got you, hell yeah. And I I was basically waiting for him to come because I I had an amp. So mm-hmm. I went. I don't even think dude made it two rounds past me. And as coach says, any pro that. Boxers should give anybody that goes in there at least four rounds. That's like the courtesy or whatever. If you're daring to go in there, your coach is putting you in there with a pro, they're giving him four rounds at the bare minimum. My my bad, brother. I, I I was taking in, I was taking in what you just said. I know it looked like I dozed off. The reason being, there's a, there was a quote. I'm thinking about. I'm still thinking about the story you just told, but we are gonna move past that. Mm-hmm. But. The, Where is the bragging race? I'm focused on the wrong thing. I apologize. You're good. You're good. Just talk. It's 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 a. Uh, I'm learning about life in these interviews, and at the end of the day, 
whether it's your job, it's not just in school, but whether it's your job, in school, military, even in family, and I guess now even in martial arts, you're going to find a bully. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe he's not really that. That's just how I assess it based off that story. I mean, from the outside looking in, that's essentially what it is. Mm-hmm. Whether you want to take it there or not, that's how it comes off to them. Mm-hmm. Or it, I just felt like that was an overly prideful person mm-hmm. that just didn't have the etiquette or respect the etiquette of boxing. That's all that was. You know I'm saying? Why would you cackle at somebody who, who, who lost? Like, boy, I hope you get the most yeah, humblest. But, but yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Definitely, but at the same time, man, like, some people don't have a coach or weren't raised to respect the sport or respect the person. They just going off of the hype, hype and glory and look at what I did to this person and just claim the claim. That's just how it is. Some people aren't humble like that. Say so, less. We we gonna move it forward. So and 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 forgive me, brother. Like no, like I said, good, I, I, I love this story and I hope my audience, whether you're a bully yourself or or, or you're <laughs> humble like 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 that, you know, just just look. This is a story, and I'm I'm glad he told it. So moving forward with 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 your box, what's some of the biggest takeaways that that you've learned since you committed to boxing? The only reason I'm good, good, you're still doing it. That's very very cool. So so what what are some of your biggest takeaways in boxing since since you started this journey? Boxing is like life. Mm-hmm. You, know, you gotta take a punch to give a punch. Sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta back away to come back and and give give out some punishment. Sometimes you gotta know when to roll and take not take punishment, but you gotta roll with the punches and catch and see what's coming in front of you so it's not blinding you. You gotta be prepared. Stay humble through it all, but like it's a grind. It's always a grind. So allow me to ask you this, um I wanna talk about like a little bit of sorry. The pro thing. So I learned something with that. I, I didn't know that it, it, as far as promotion, you do your first pro fight and you're a pro. So what if somebody doesn't really have, let's just say they're a really good street fighter, you know, and then like they do their first pro match. Like, so are they still considered a pro regardless if they win or lose it? Yeah. So with that being said, so am I wrong in also thinking it comes down to money if that's the case? And Not right. how many fights and experience you have? Anybody that fights for money mm-hmm. technically is a pro. Because if you're a pro, you're fighting for a prize. You're a prize fighter in a sense. Okay. Like with bare knuckle street fighting or just straight boxing. Okay. But there's a reward at the end of it. As an amateur, there's no reward. It's just for recognition or just experience. Okay. If you do any of those said things, whether it's street fighting, boxing, and you take any money from them, and you're an amateur and they find out, they're going to ban you from amateur boxing and make you a pro automatically. So, so we learned something new. <laughs> so, allow me to ask you this. So, just two more questions, and then we'll, we'll cut it here. Um, so, I want to uh, touch on Floyd, because I asked Coach this. Mm. So, Floyd Mayweather is a boxer. This was a conversation I had amongst my peers when I was at work. So some people feel like Floyd ruined the sport, ruined the sport of boxing because of his record. He's fifty and nine. When you look at certain boxers today, and I kind of agree, based on what I see on social media. Social media isn't real, y'all, but I <laughs> kind of agree because it's like, okay, you have twenty one fights and zero. Mm. I have twenty one fights and zero. You give me my first L for some odd reason. From how it looks, not not from the boxer standpoint, but just overall, that person's overall career is over in boxing. Like, don't nobody want to promote that person. Don't nobody want to fight that person because they got one L. Mm-hmm. So my question to you is, with that mentality and based on what you just heard, would you put that on somebody like Floyd Mayweather? Do you feel like he ruined the sport of boxing because he's the only boxer in history, I guess, to have, you know, that many wins but in zero losses? I feel like social media ruined it. Floyd just happened to be the highlight when it comes to boxing, hyping that up to be undefeated because he took a lot of those big fights and made great money with it. On top of the fact that he's a great boxer, a great boxer. Um, Because if you think about it back in the 90s and stuff like that, social media wasn't even a thing. Okay. People just want to see people oh, get beat the fuck out of them. Okay. At the end of the day, win, lose, or draw. They knew this guy was coming. 
to, to fuck you up and you got two people in the room doing the same thing. That's all people cared about. Nowadays, Floyd was looked at as a villain. Like people just wanted to see 